Welcome back to another screencast for educators here at UTech Tips. Today we're going to continue with our series in uh, Firefox for Educators. We've got three uh, great add-ins that I think you will uh, enjoy and that'll make switching over to Firefox uh, easier and more enjoyable for you. The three that we're going to play with today, the three add-ins, um, one is called Text Marker and this is a great add-in that allows you to highlight text and then copy and paste it into a Word document. And So we're going to install these and then I'll show you how each of them works. The next one we're going to play with today is a, is a great one if you use um, Flickr. Uh, this one's called Flickr Fox that adds a side uh, sidebar panel where you can search quickly for Flickr pictures and pull them right into um, a blogging post or view them or whatever you need to do with pictures that you're working with. And the third one is permatabs. And I have found this one very useful as I'm, I'm reading something um, in one of my tabs that I have open and I have to leave so I can right click and save it as a permatab and that tab won't close and it will be there for me the next time that I come back and open up. So the, what we're going to do is we're just going to head over to text marker. I'm going to scroll down and click the install now button. Now you can find these web addresses in the show notes to this uh, screencast. So um, I'm not going to actually give you the address for them. You can go over to the screencast and you can uh, find the link there and you can click on them again then now we're going to install uh, Flickr Fox just takes it just a second here to install and then while that one's installing I'm going to install permatabs find the big green button click the install button so it'll take just a second here to get these installed for us today there we go now you see when we're done we need to restart Firefox so I'm just going to click on the restart Firefox button down here at the bottom it says do I want to close all the tabs I'm going to click OK and it'll just close it and restart it and that finishes the installation again it's so easy to install these uh, these add-ons into fire into uh, Firefox and there's so many great add-ons I'm, I'm covering three today if there's other ones that you would like me to, to cover or that you think are great for educators uh, please let me know and we'll try to get those in um, so here are the permatabs you can see we've already started so let's go ahead and start talking with permatabs now you'll notice that permatabs turns the tab a kind of yellow color but the way that you get rid of them or the way you make a permatab is you just right click on it and right down at the bottom you see permatabs with a check mark if I undo that check mark you will see that it will turn it back to a normal shade of uh, gray and then it'll put the little X back in there again and we can close that tab all right, so I'm going to do that the same. This is an eBay one. I'm going to unpermatag that one. Right click, unpermatag that one, and uh, we're going to close those. All right. So here's here's the UTEX tip site. I'm going to go ahead and, and close uh, these other tabs. Um, but let's say that we're like uh, at this article that Sean just wrote about this Wired article. I'm going to right click and say open in a new tab. And let's say that I'm in the middle of reading this article, and all of a sudden I have to leave for work or. I have to shut down my computer for a while and I want to keep this article but I don't want to save it to my my delicious account or to my bookmarks what permatabs allows us to do permatabs is I can right click and I can just click on permatabs and you'll see that it turns it an orangish color and that tab will now stay there so if I were to close fire uh, Firefox and I were to open Firefox back up again you will notice that that link or that tab is still there. It saves that tab for me. There it is, the Wired News. Now when I click on it, it will continue to load that page. And I can go on and I can read whatever I want to read. When I'm done with that permatab, I can right click, uh, click off the permatab, and now I can I can delete it and I'm back to where I started. So permatabs are great. Uh, you know, good use in education because you can go through as you're finding different sources for your students or something, you can just right click and call them permatabs and then go back and look at them. That way if your machine accidentally turns off or you have to leave somewhere, you can uh, uh, quickly find that. The next one we can talk about is uh, the text uh, text marker. And it, this is a great add-on that I have, I have found. Um, and played with when I first installed Firefox. And the way it works is that you can be on any web page. If I right click on it, 
you'll see right at the very top they've put in a highlight text button. So I click on highlight text and it'll highlight it. All right. Now the nice thing is I can go down and maybe I want to highlight this as well. So I'm going to highlight some more. Now think about this in um, research terms. If a student is reading a website, they can go through and they can highlight different portions um, of, a, of a paper or of a website. When they're done, you can right click and you can uh, save uh, highlight text and you can copy all highlights or just this highlight. So I'm going to copy all my highlights and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get Word started. So then I just come over to my Word document and I'm going to right click and click paste and you can see that it's pasted in my highlights. So here's the things I've highlighted and this is to me the best part. It puts in the source of where you got that information from. So when you're thinking about students doing research, they can go onto a, uh, any web page, they can highlight the parts that they want, they can right click and copy them and then they can be taking notes into um, a Word document and it automatically gives them the source and that's one of the biggest things is having kids remember the source of where they found their information and here it puts it in for you. So that's a great tool, that's Text Marker. Okay, that's the Text Marker plugin. The last plugin is called Fire, uh, sorry, is called Flickr Fox and what that is is that's actually a sidebar so we can come up here and we're going to view uh, sidebars and we're going to look for Flickr Fox. It's also a Control 7 but if I click on Flickr Fox, it's going to open a little panel over here to the left. Okay. It will authorize your account. Um, so that you can load your own pictures. So you can see I'm logged into our school account. And once it's been authorized, it will show you all of your pictures out of your account. Again, if you're blogging or if you're searching for pictures, this is a great way uh, to add pictures and quickly find pictures you want. There's a search button up here. If I wanted to search for pictures of Shanghai, there they are. Okay, the latest pictures out of Shanghai. If I click on a picture, it'll automatically come over here into my main, uh, the main area, and it will find that picture for me, and then decide what you want to do with that picture. So that's another great add-on. So there you go, three great add-ons that you can use in the, in the classroom. One is permatabs, right click, permatab. The other one is the text marker, that's where you get to highlight. Come into any website, you can highlight a great research tool for both uh, educators and students. And the last one is uh, Flickr Fox, which is a Control 7 uh, sidebar module that allows you to search for Flickr pictures right within your Firefox uh, browser. So there you go. That's it. So there's three more great extensions for using Firefox in education. And that wraps it up for another UTech Tips.